do you think? Good. What's going on everybody? It's Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. And I don't think I've made a video clip today yet. So I'm actually getting off of work. It's quarter to five right now. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I actually have a couple free minutes here. So let's do this thing. Uh, I spent today over my lunch break. I whipped together, I mocked up like 12 vlog files. I still have like another week's worth to do. Um, that's how far behind I am. That's why I like doing this. So I'm like almost a month behind. Um, so I'll be rendering those tonight and all that type of stuff and then going from there. Um, it's Tuesday. Parents left. They're going to the lake cabin. So I am uh, heading to pick up Grant from school and stuff. Uh, I'm working on getting this uh, scraggly looking face uh, in shape. So I, I shaved uh, this morning and I gotta uh, trim my my goatee and all that stuff. Um, it's been it's been one hell of a fucking couple weeks in terms of stock market and stuff. So all those um, weed stocks that I invested in, they're not doing so well. They are uh, my portfolio is down probably about thirty percent. I think I got about uh, I initially put in probably about four thousand dollars. So um, yeah. I'm already down like over a grand. Not really happy about that. Not at all. Um, today, the earnings report came out for my company, and I trade my 401k stock, um, or my 401k in my company's stock. So, you know, I'm dealing with like big money here. Nothing that I can touch quite yet until I retire and all that type of stuff, but we're talking some big trades here. So my company's earning reports or whatever came out today and it, they didn't meet their mark. So within the marketing market opening today, the stock went down like $10 a share. And it's like around like the $140, um, $146 mark. So that's like a big percentage drop. We're talking, I don't know, what is that? Like five or 7%. So it dropped $10 from the opening price, but it ended up closing over two dollars, like two dollars and fifty cents above where it uh, where it opened. The volatility was insane today. So I actually um, sold off one of my positions. I made uh, a little bit of money today for my portfolio. My other position is not looking so good. So I am like currently down. Like my other position is worth like over two grand less than what I bought in at. So that shows you like, fuck, um, not good. So I've been working on just trying to, uh, I'm, I've been focusing on trying to make money this last, like toward the end of the year here with this uh, stock stuff because it's, beginning of the year, it's, it's more stable, it's more um, bullish, so it's, it's typically going up and all that type of stuff, but man, this has just been rough. So, um, I'm hoping if it goes up more tomorrow, I might actually sell that other position at a loss, but not as much of a loss if it can go up more, but we'll see. Um, I'm trying to think what else is happening though. I, I just It's just been a, a crazy stressful week with that. You know, I, I mentioned it, I think, but you know, Graham made a comment that he really wanted to go um, trick-or-treating with uh, his neighborhood friends at his mom's house, and that kind of crushed me. You know, he's seven, he's getting a little bit older. He has zero kids, zero friends to play with in my neighborhood. My neighborhood's an old, old neighborhood. His mom's neighborhood's old as well, but it's like been reinvented like twice or three times over. So it's like so old that like all new people are moved in with like young kids and shit. Um, so for him, it's best for him to go and do that with them and stuff. One of the neighbors supposedly is having a Halloween party or something. But it just, it I'm down over it and stuff, so. Um, tomorrow is Western Wednesday. We're going to go, I'm going to go over by Nikki's and watch a Western movie. It's Halloween, and being without Grant, this is my, it's supposed to be my year with him. Uh, I just want to get out of the fucking house. I don't want to sit at the house, listen to the doorbell ring all evening, waiting for, uh, you know, making me think about trick-or-treating with Grant. 
So I gotta get my little dude. Uh, we might end up playing, it says it's 71 degrees outside right now. It's like really, really nice. But um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, I just, it's just been stressful, dude. So like I, I finally logged in. I got that, that ticket for cell phone usage. And it said, you know, wait, I don't know, two or two to four weeks or something for it to show up on the website so you can pay it online. I'm like, okay. Well, it's been like six weeks. I finally was able to see it or view it online. Or it's in the system or whatever. And it's like my options were pay $120 and um, pay for $120 and plead guilty and it goes on my record or pay $166 plead guilty, take a four hour class and it doesn't go on my record. And then the other option was to plead innocent and then have a court date and shit. So I don't know. I don't know if I should just do the $120 option and um, let it hit my record. I don't really know. I don't want it to go on my record. It's supposed to be a fucking non-moving violation, but... So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just a trick or a trap, but I didn't, like, every single thing that I read, nowhere mentioned anywhere near $120 for this fucking ticket. Somebody's like, because I think a seatbelt ticket, like, not having your seatbelt on is, like, 50 bucks or something. So somebody's like, oh, that one's probably going to be a little bit more, maybe, like, 75 or whatever. And that's kind of like what I was reading online. They said, like, 75 first offense, $100 second offense, $125 third offense. I don't know. But $120, I was like, geez, Louise. <sighs> so I'm not happy about that. Today's Tuesday. Gonna spend this evening with Grant. Tomorrow, we're probably, we're probably gonna do like a watercolor painting tonight or something like that. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm gonna go by Nikki's. Thursday, not sure what's going on. I'm probably gonna hang out with Jess and uh, um, get some work done and stuff like that. So Thursday. So I probably need to cut the grass and shit. So we ended up getting, I don't know if I, I don't think I mentioned it. My dad scored a um, 7.25 horsepower Toro GTS personal pace lawnmower, non-electric start for 150 bucks used. And this thing looks brand new. It's insane. It's uh, like, it's amazing. It's awesome. So, um, we got that, uh, I don't know what day that was, Sunday or something, Saturday, Sunday. And then he ended up taking in the their snowblower. They have a big fucking honking snowblower. I don't know, it's like a 18 inch snowblower or something. Um, and uh, got it repaired and fixed up and stuff. So it starts up uh, easily, you know, and um, all that shit. So um, should be ready, man, for the rest of fall for cutting the grass and for winter for... Uh, um, snow. So we get, uh, I'm in Chicagoland, we get a lot of snow, and, uh, you know, I don't want to say a snowblower is necessary or, uh, mandatory, but it's definitely, uh, gods, and as you get older, you don't want to be shoveling that shit, so it's like, it's really beautiful outside right now. So we got the last remnants of fall coming on here. As you guys can see, the trees are, what's left of them, they're changing colors, they're red now and all that stuff. And that's it. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Dad, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Ooh! <Dad. Wow. laughs> he blocked it, all right. Here it comes. Oh! Oh, I thought I was gonna get you there. <laughs> 